What's up everybody, Gerald here today. We're up here on Mason's for a change. I've literally just started setting up. I've managed to get one rod out over on that back margin over there. Walk around, put some bait in. And uh, we got a fish in the net, guys. Straight away, it looks like a good one. It's a bit of a chunk. Could be the first 20 of the year. So while I'm sorting this fish out, let's roll that intro and then I'll show you this fish. So guys, we've got a bit of a disaster. Not with a fish or anything, but I've just gone to look for my tripod in my bag and it's not in there. So the footage might be a bit ropey on this video, unfortunately, with no tripod. But I have weighed the fish. It's just currently recouping in the sling. And because I haven't got my tripod, I've had to ring my auntie and uh, get her to come up here and take some photos for me. Unfortunately, it's just shy of 20 pounds. It's 19. Um, lovely fish nonetheless, like I say, the other rod, I haven't even got one of the rods out of the rod bag yet. That was the first rod I put out over there on this spot. I, before I put the rod out, I walked around there and I threw in five or six handful of boilies just up and down the margin. Come back round here, getting the second rod out, just literally rigged it up and it's tore off. So I'm going to get the other rods out while I'm waiting for my auntie to get here and then I'll be back with the fish. Happy days, come on. So guys, five minutes of fishing has resulted in my biggest fish of the year. Um, not quite 20 pound, unfortunately. It fell to the cream seed bottom bait, but it's an absolute beauty. Happy days to get amongst the fish up here on Mason's. A 19 pound common. Let's get some photos, get this fish back, and see if we can get a bigger one. All three rods are now out and fishing. The left hand rod is down the margin, just over here. The middle rod's just out in the middle, just over halfway. And then the right hand rod is over here in the margin somewhere. The fish seem very active, they're on the surface, cruising around, there's one just there. You probably can't see it because of the glare. But they are showing themselves today as well. A few fish have boshed out over on Basil's. So if it gets quiet over here, I might pop over there and have a little go in there as well. I really need a haircut, look at it. Um, <laughs> so like I said, I've got no tripod so camera work's going to be a bit shoddy today unfortunately I'm going to have to probably prop it up on my barra to take pictures and stuff so hopefully it's not too bad I'm going to only be here probably for like another four hours ish it's meant to rain this afternoon which is hard to believe right now because the weather is lovely but we all know how quickly that can change hopefully we can get another one um, another fish falling into the cream seed bottom baits what seems to be working at the minute it is on sale I'm sure some of you have seen you buy five key and get five key for free so you're basically getting 10 key for 40 quid so you can't go wrong I've actually stocked up and got I think I've got about 30 key of it for France when I go because I am going back to France at the end of August hopefully it'll do the trick out there and we don't blank this time I'm gonna sit back down now uh, read the book eat some food see if we get another one so I've just sat here watching the water and I've already seen three or four fish show right down the other end in front of pigs like one and one and two and three. But there are fish in front of me as well. They're not leaping around like they were when I first got here, but they are down there. I am quite light and mobile so I can move, but I'm probably going to give it an hour here 
and then move down if I don't have anything. There are a few fish just right out in front of me right now, cruising around. And I'm not fishing in particularly deep water over there. So hopefully they find the bait and get down on it. But like I say, main move down the other end. Should always really show the uh, move to showing fish. Especially if nothing's showing out in front of you. But I'm going to give it a little bit of time here before I move down. So guys, I have moved to the other end of the lake. And this is why all the fish are down this end. There's a couple of semi nice fishing amongst them. Just here cruising in. It's looking like I'm going to have to get some zigs out and I hate fishing zigs. But when they're up in the surface like this with high pressure, that's probably the way to catch them. Another little chunky common in the net. Happy days, that didn't take long after the move. The left hand rod, which is out over here where all the fish were showing, it's tore off. He definitely had a few fish with him and all because when I lifted into it, they went flying everywhere. But the fish are all still over there. I put a little, little bit more bait, the rod is back out already. Got to get the rod back on the spot straight away when there's fish in the area. I did have a slight knock on this rod that's over there as well in that bay. But so far the right hand rod which is just out in the middle, nothing on that. Now let's try and build a little tripod out of buckets and things so I can get this fish out and show it to you. So the moves really paid off. It didn't take too long for that left hand rod to tear off. The fish were boshing out over there so I knew it wouldn't be long so we got a bite. And we've got ourselves a very chunky common he's only little he's misbehaving here we go lovely fish in great condition they all seem to be in really good condition up here on masons at the minute a lovely fish very quick fell to the munch bottom bait cream seed once again it's doing the job let's get some photos and get this fish back so I was actually sat here tying a zig when that went off. So I think I'm going to stick to the bottom baits because they are working. It's, there's certain fish that are willing to feed. I'm very surprised how chunky they are at the minute up here. Um, it's the old match lake. So they used to be quite skinny, but obviously they've been munching on something because they're all immaculate and chunky. I've got fish feeding all over me out the front right in the middle of the lake why can't they go right slightly to my right hand rod um i've been back leading as well just because of the amount of fish that's in the area up in the top layers i don't want line cutting through the middle of the swim so i've actually put the back leads on just to see if that helps i don't want to be spooking them out and they are still all out there so obviously i haven't scared them but yeah i wasn't expecting to get off to this start um i don't know what the time is it's probably around 11 o'clock and I'm going to fish, I think, for maybe another four hours. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on the spot that I was fishing up the other end, putting a little bit more bait up there as well. I've put another catapult of boilies out over the top of the rod that I've just put back. And let's just sit and see what happens. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting to come down here, catch a 19, and then that one was probably 14 pounds. I don't think the camera did it justice. It was wide and it had, did not have a belly on it. It was full, it had been munching. So yeah, happy days, happy days. Let's uh, just keep watching the water, keep an eye out for the fish. And hopefully, we can get another one in the net. Come on. It's lunch time. I've moved the right hand rod over onto the far bank. Mainly because some of the fish that are showing are all coming up relatively close to the rushes um i don't recommend fishing on top of the rushes nice and tight they all seem to be about at least two foot off of them and what i've done is i've put a couple of handfuls of boilies over the top of each one we've now got the right hand rod just a little bit further down the bank into like a little cut there are a few little like indents in the lake which the fish do tend to follow so that's where i'm putting the traps and uh hopefully we get another fish I'm going to sit here and eat a sausage roll. I don't normally bring lunch with me. 
because I'm normally only here for about four hours, but I think I'm going to cram in six today. Maybe we'll get another one. The weather is all over the place. It's gone warm and it goes cold, and I think that's what's confusing the fish. Like I said, they are all quite chunky at the minute, so I'm just wondering if the water temperature's up and they're, um, they're starting their like pre-spawn feed up. Because it seems to me that uh, they're just following each other around. The cats are on the move early this year as well. It is all very early. So I'm hoping we've got at least another month, really, before they start to spawn. We have got some colder weather coming in after the day. Like I said, it was meant to rain today, but now it's not going to rain until about 8 o'clock tonight. So, lucky for me, I'm not going to need to use my umbrella. So I'm going to sit here now, eat my sausage rolls and packet crisps, drink some water. And just watch the water. Okay guys, fish number three, and what could have been fish number four as well, but I'll explain that in just a minute. Um, on the phone to my girlfriend, she's saying, oh, you're going to catch one in a minute, I'm good luck. The right hand rod tears off, and uh, this fish brought out probably the biggest scrap of the day. It's not the biggest fish, again, it's 14 pound, a lovely fish, another common. And whilst I was landing this one, the left hand rod tore off, and uh, unfortunately, couldn't play two fish at once and that one got away but this fish is very long Woo, cracking fish nonetheless as always uh, down here at down fish are in really good condition at the minute that one fell to a snowman presentation with a pineapple pop-up and the cream seed bottom bait there it is one more time we'll get those photos we'll get the rod back out on the spot and send this lovely creature back to where it belongs it's one o'clock and the sun's gone in. It's slowed down a little bit. There's not as much activity going on, but I am very excited to show you some prototypes that I'm going to be using from my next video. Here's a special one. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this one, what they are. And then there's this one. And this one is very exciting for me um, in particular because if you look at the color, Maybe you can guess what flavour these are. Leave it in the comments. But very excited to get these out on the rods. I thought about doing it now, but I've just literally got them in the perfect spots. And there are fish patrolling up and down there now and again. I don't want to disturb it too much. We haven't got much longer left, but going forward, I will be using these. I will be letting you know how good they are, like I say, super excited about this one. Prototype little baits here. More information to come soon. Happy days. I'm gonna sit here now, drink some more water, and just enjoy the rest of the day. Also, I've finally started to sort out my socials. I created a new Instagram account for you guys to go and follow. It's Gerald Carp Angler. I'll put it in the description, and I'll also stick it up on the screen for you now to see. Go give it a follow. That's where you'll be able to see all my fish pictures going forward. And uh, hopefully there'll be plenty of them. I've just had a catfish show its head right over the top of my spot like four times over there. I've put in a couple of handfuls of bait so I'm guessing it's over there having a bit of a feed on it. So let's hope it doesn't pick up the hook bait because I really don't want to be catching a catfish. Um, but if it happens, it happens. I'm not here to get them. It's definitely got a bit quieter now that the sun's gone in and the temperature's dropped a little bit. But I was hoping that might get the fish on the feed. But there's a few of them still milling around. There's one just out there now. It's quite a nice fish, that one. Just out in the middle of the lake. Definitely got some fish feeding further down there. Out basically in front of where I was. But coming up here definitely has paid off. I've had two fish up here. Uh, and lost one so getting mobile at the moment is very important if you see fish showing move to them it could be the difference between a blank and catching so we have moved we're back in the original swim that we started in all the fish have moved up this end of the lake they're all cruising around up here again even though the sun's gone away and it has actually started to rain a little bit very fine rain. And we're in. Surely. We're in. In the net. That's a really good problem with that. Let's get him out of the Get him out of the 
Italia. Guys, if you see fish, move to them. It's so important to get mobile this time of the year. If you see them, move to them. Proof's in the pudding right here. I was hoping it was a 20. Unfortunately, it's not quite. I put it on two sets, different sets of scales, and it's going 18 and a half on both. But happy nonetheless. Here we go. 18 and a half pounds of angry Mason's Lake Common. This one fell to the secret bait. I couldn't resist putting it out there. What a fish. I'm so happy, what a day's fishing. When you're catching fish of this stamp pretty much all day long, you can't go wrong. Let's get some photos, get the rod back on the spot. See if we can get another one before we go home. Come on. I haven't fished Masons in probably at least a year and a half, nearly two years. So to get up here, get the rods out, find the fish, move around and get four really nice ones is an absolute result. What makes it even better is that that last fish was caught on the very special prototypes. As soon as I know the name and where you're gonna be able to get them from, I will obviously fill you guys in, but really happy with these ones. It was instant, it was within five minutes of putting it out there, and we've gone and got a nice one. Hopefully, there's plenty more to come. So here comes the rain that was forecast. Originally it was forecast for this time and then it was pushed back to six o'clock, but it's arrived, unfortunately. I'm gonna sit it out for probably half an hour. Hopefully not get too wet. And see if we can get one before we go. If not, I'm gonna reel in and get myself off home. So every time I've caught a fish, I've put out one handful of about maybe 10 boilies back on the spots. And it seems to be working. Obviously, when I first got here, I baited up with probably about four or five handfuls of bait in these spots. And then I moved down there, and again, I put like four or five handfuls on down there. Caught those fish, and then every time I've caught one, one handful. I don't want to put in too much bait. Um, I know the fish are feeding right now, but I'm fishing for a bite. I'm not fishing to feed them, I'm fishing to catch them. Um, if I put in a lot of bait, they've got more choice than picking up my hook bait. So... One little handful of around 10 boilies around the spot is perfect once you start catching them to keep them there and to get you a couple more bites. Don't overfeed it um, up here. It's very easy to pile it in. There are a lot of fish in here and the catfish are here as well, obviously. They'll eat a lot of the bait, but try not to pile it in. As you can see, I've come up here and done really well today. I've had five takes, landed four. Lost that one when I had the double take earlier. So it seems to be working. Give it a go, get up here. It's definitely worth it. I'm glad I've come up here and didn't go on to gold or terrapin, even though there was no one down there today. I just really fancy the change and it's paid off. I've done it. I've got a 20. Right hand rod on the new bait. The prototype bait has finally got me a 20. Put up a right old scrap. Oh, it's, it's actually near enough 21 pound, but it didn't quite make it, so we'll say it's 20 and a half. Come on. Oh, yeah, boy. What a fish. Let's get that slime off you there, mate. What a day's fishing, absolutely amazing. I've had a wonderful day. It's starting to rain. I think I'm gonna get the rods in and go home. We're gonna call it a day here. What a way to end the video on the biggest fish of the day, a 20 pounder. Let's get the photos, get it back. I'm gonna get myself off home and then until next time, tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon. So I know I said that was the end of the video, but I always leave your rods out till last. And it's not the biggest of fish, but it's a cool looking one. 
it's the first mirror of the day and I am happy to catch it. A dark mirror. It's got some lovely scales on it. The camera probably doesn't pick them up. Let's just give them a quick wipe down. Yeah, he's got a lovely few scales just over here by his shoulders. A lovely fish. The fish are boshing out everywhere, but I've really got to get packed up and get off home. So, let's get this fish back. I'll take a couple of pictures. And this really is the end of the video, unless I catch another one. So, tight lines, wet nets. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> this is getting crazy now. Hello once again. Um, I was putting that fish back and the other rod's gone off. I've got one rod left in the lake and we've got another fish. Happy days, what a great day, honestly. Not as big as the others, but I'll take them all. Let's get this one back and maybe get that last rod in and that will definitely be the end of the video. So until next time, for the third time, tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon.